Happy Easter. My name is Jeff Crittenden. I'm the chair of the foundation. I just want to wish you a happy Easter across the country and well beyond our borders. What an incredible celebration for all of us. Well, I'm here to talk again about the foundation. And when I think about Easter and I think about the foundation, I can't help but go to the Gospel of Mark, where the women who make their way to the tomb that morning, they get there only to find a young man who's been waiting for them. This young man says, he's not here. He's gone ahead of you. He's risen. He is in the Galilee. Go, go to the Galilee and there you'll see him. What exciting news to hear. And so we begin. We begin our adventure going off to the Galilee. And as we're traveling, it isn't long before the stories begin to pile up. We encounter a story about Thomas, who has an incredible amount of questions for Jesus. What does this all mean? Or maybe it's Emmaus, as those are walking away from Jerusalem and a stranger comes into their midst and it says that the scriptures that burns within their hearts and the revelation and the breaking of bread. Or maybe, just maybe, it's that tender story of St. Peter as there he is on the beach talking with Jesus. Peter, feed my sheep. Peter, tend my lambs. Peter, feed my sheep. You know that I love you, Lord, Peter replies all three times. Now, anyone who's been around the United Church for a while, when you hear those words, it takes you right back to Wolfville, there at General Council, as our moderator, Marion Party, was speaking this scripture to our next-to-be moderator, Peter Short. She looked into his eyes and she said with a twinkle, Peter, do you love me? No one will ever forget that moment as the whole place erupted in laughter. It was so beautiful. I've sometimes wondered why the Galilee, but even there, when you just give it a minute, it begins to dawn upon you that we'll see him, that he's there in the Galilee waiting for us. Why? Because that's where all of his ministry took place. There in the Galilee, he taught us everything about healing, about welcoming people, about community. He taught us everything about who we are together. That's what I think about when I think of the foundation, about us being together, a community that makes a difference in the neighborhood. Whether it's in Vagerville United Church, where there's a seniors friendship lunch, or maybe it's in Montreal at the Montreal City Mission with the Women's Weaving a Dream program, or maybe it's up in Kamloops as that Pride Choir sings with all their hearts, or maybe it's the outreach that happens in St. George Street and St. George Church and all throughout Newfoundland. The Galilee, it doesn't take us very long to realize it's right here in our very midst. As you walk out the doors, you see it in the neighbors that you meet, both strangers and friends. So the foundation would love for you to come and to talk with us about the ministry you'd like to do in your neighborhood. The foundation is just waiting for you to give us a call and say, this is what we have some energy for. This is what we're excited about. This is going to make a difference. My friends, please, please contact us and let us know what it is that you're interested in doing. We're waiting to hear from you. Happy Easter and blessings come from us here at the foundation to your neighborhood.